So, and that that's why it works in soccer as well. Different countries play different ways. Um, you ultimately need to play to your strengths. If you're someone who's not a zoner, if you're someone who likes to get in there, get in there and pick characters that let you get in there and make decisions that set up for you to make good decision making. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if we're doing a next another match right now or we're just, you know, enjoying the sweet players in our venue. It's time to give a shout out to all of our players that come out every single week and some new faces we see. Uh, I think we have new faces every single week. Uh, you can check out all their. It's complicated, being frank. Love that shirt, but uh, you gotta check out all of the people in our venue. I think we are getting ready for the next match. Probably gonna be Critter versus guy with an awesome Majora's Mask T-shirt, which <laughs> is awesome. I'm rooting for him. I'm gonna be a little bit biased because that shirt's pretty awesome. The shirt is pretty sick. But on the other hand, my dude Critter, my Ike, my brothers and Ike, brothers and Ike, and uh, Ike our Biden. Dude, Ike is so much fun. Yeah, he's awesome in this game. I love what they did with Ike in this game. He feels fantastic. Um, at earlier percentages, he, oh my gosh, he's doing such a good job of zoning with that disjoint and spacing correctly. Oh, wow. The conversions. Look what? at this. Oh, God. Nair is the go-to option uh, if you want to pop somebody up. Is wow, that, what is a edge guard. Okay, no, no okay. he's still good because you have magnet hands in this game. You you will snap from the Wow, he just tried to end that match. What, Yo! Did, what did he do? That was sick. He what? dropped down, did a soft air. He dropped down soft air. Okay, I didn't think that he got the dare hit. Wow. Yeah. See, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That those those that mentality to know like when I need to be aggressive off the stage. With a character like Ike, who doesn't have the most phenomenal recovery, being that aggressive off the stage, got him the kill, an early kill at that. And it's just that that, that decision making that is so critical. You know why I, I think that, so the reason why Critter was so strong there and went so deep is because he had tempo and he felt it. There's a confidence that comes when you've racked up roughly 60, 70%, almost uncontested, mm -hmm. that you say, I'm in control, I got this. Or you have that moment of, this guy doesn't know how to deal with my character, or he doesn't know how to deal with the situation, or he's cracked. Oh, baby, the Gosh, hard call out. What a, what a decisive finish. When you F smash with this Ooh. character, you're making a statement. Whew. When Critter F smashes, he did it by accident. This. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's no. It's always if if it didn't hit and they shield it. Oh man, that was an accident. But if it hits, plan. <laughs> that was planned. Take that credit. I'm, I'm gonna let you know that that was planned. Take that credit. It's like it's like those um those accidental footstools. Yeah. Yeah. It's like plan. Plan. I meant, I meant to do that. You yeah. Know. Absolutely. You no, know, I threw an attack out immediately after that jump came out. But you know, I, I meant to do oh. footstool. Don't. Jump against Ike is what I will tell you, man. Gosh, don't jump against Critter. What a call out. Uh, and we see the character switch from Nairok into Olimar, which uh, is, I feel like this is a better. Because like you have those disjointed Pikmin that you can throw out, you can rack up percent, and then you can get those, those smash attacks. Uh, and not tilts, because the tilts are actually connected to Olimar, but you have a lot more in your toolkit to keep Ike away from you. And, and that's what he needed, because Ike was all up in his face the last game, and he needs some, he needs some breathing room. Mm, down tilt fair. Dash Ooh, attack. Goodness. Right now, Critter just racked up all that on the board because he'd been getting zoned so hard up until this point that he knew once he gets in, he has to convert hard. So what he's going to want to take advantage of in this matchup is that recovery. Once again, uh, Olimar's recovery, incredibly abusable. Yeah. I, no hitbox on, the, on, on any of it, just going right up trying to recover. And we saw how aggressive critter can be off the stage so i'm definitely going to see him like he's doing right now abusing that oh not getting the spike hitbox however but we see it already nairox going to be a bit more wary of how he recovers because he's not going to want to get contested by critter so at, at this point we're seeing critter just doing like trying to do his best to force his way back in he'll use tools like nair he'll use tool well primarily nair because he has to deal with the hitbox in front of him he'll put nair in front to contest it but the problem is, is that Nair starts from above and back from behind his head and then has to come forward. Yeah. Same with Fair. Fair has to start from above and then sweeps its way down. So it's sometimes hard to have a, a, a hitbox come out to deal with it. But Olimar, you're right, has been such a solid choice because it pumps the brakes on Critter and says, you don't get to play your game anymore. You, you don't, don't get to rush it. And you don't get to keep that stock. Yeah. Uh, great job already. Miles better than the last game. Racking up a lot of percent uh, and taking that first stock. Really crucial. Once again, the call out from the forest that smash from Critter. What is oh. this man? This no fear. The when young it comes. drift 
into sweet, <laughs> sweet bliss. You know what uh, I love the most about Ike's forward smash is that how long it takes to wind that up. So yeah. that entire moment, you're like, oh crap, I pushed the button. And you're just sitting there waiting for that thing to clip you and destroy you. It's the same feeling you get when you hit, get hit by uh, Ganon. Because you see, you watch the 15 million frames of Jump Squad. <laughs> you watch his hand cock back. You hear him say, <laughs> and then you get hit and you teleport into the blast zone and you just contemplate what you woke up in the morning. That's that's the same feeling that Ike gives people whenever he F smashes, and I love giving that feeling to people. Good job with the up B. He tried to see if he could uh, catch him, but yep, uh, you you saw that awareness from Olimar. He just did that rollback mm -hmm. and then just followed up, which is smart. That's how you're supposed to deal with it. I just love the, the change that I've seen from from Nyrock. However, Critter won to keep his composure, even with the character switch, taking out that last stock and taking that game that set 2-0. Now. Um, the but, character swap was correct. Yeah, I was I was super happy with how he did. He was it was such a, a huge difference, and it seemed like he was a lot more comfortable mm -hmm. with the character Olimar over over Mario. Yeah. In that case, and it just it showed in leaps and bounds, getting that first <clears throat> getting that first stock early, uh, and then was able to rack up so much percent and make, keep it that close. Mm -hmm. uh, just decision making was in favor of of Critter there, and he did a phenomenal job of taking that last stock. Being able to gain your composure after a character swap was so strong from Critter. Because you have to deal with not only a complete change from, okay, he doesn't have really any disjoints, I don't have to worry that much about it, I can just go in and go.